Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel again, it's Rich. Uh, today we're going to be tackling installing a high definition antenna in the attic. Uh, so I purchased a an indoor or outdoor antenna and it's actually a UHF VHF antenna so that it can get uh, all the, the local affiliates uh, in my area so that I can grab those stations for free rather than paying uh, the high cost of the cable bills. I renew my package from my cable provider last month and I decided to go ahead and cut the cord. So there are a number of options that you can choose from when you um, simply go with the streaming route. Um, I am choosing to try out uh, using a, a high definition antenna to get my local affiliates and then stream some other channels. Um, I'm not going to go into all the various options that there are. There are plenty of great YouTube videos out there that go into detail the pros and cons of each. I'm simply here to go ahead and install uh, an HD antenna that I have purchased and hopefully share with you some tips and tricks um, to make that installation go a little bit easier and to help uh, maybe make the decision as to whether or not you want to try this for yourself. So when I um, went online to do my research to find the antenna that was appropriate for me, uh, I found a really great site. There's a, a um, it's Antennas Direct, um, has a great um, site to be able to plug in your zip code and it provides you uh, the distance from your zip code to the closest transmitters that are available to you so that you know how far away they are and in what location that they're in so that you know where to point the antenna. Um, I found out that um, the transmitters in my local area are about 14 miles away and so I know that I needed to get an antenna that um, would handle at least that if not a little bit more because I am going to be installing it in an attic. You're probably going to lose a little bit of range because of the obstruction of the plywood and the rafters and, and the shingles and such. So I got one that would handle up to 60 miles um, and so I thought that that would probably cover most of my needs. Um, it was fairly inexpensive, and I was able to get it off of Amazon, and it actually comes through Antennas Direct, uh, but it's purchased through Amazon. The one that I got was um, the Clearstream uh, 2V, and it comes with the mast mount uh, so that you can mount it outdoors or indoors. I didn't buy a preamp or anything like that. I'm simply using everything that's already uh, existing within the house. So most people have cable already run through the house uh, because of previous cable plans and providers that have installed it in, within the house. So I'm using all the existing lines. I'm simply rerouting them and turning them in a different direction. So when we open up the box, this is what we end up getting. They give you some instructions on uh, how, to, how to put it together. Um, and all the various pieces and it comes with everything you really need. Um, this kit actually came with the mast. I'm not sure uh, how I'm going to mount it yet but uh, it comes with all the hardware you need. It comes with the, the bracket to mount it and then it also comes with the mast To mount it as well um, and then the feeder cable that would go to the splitter so everything is included with the kit the only thing that you might need is um, some extra cable and I do have some cable that just extra stuff that I've accumulated over the years so the first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and attach this cable um, to the actual antenna element and because uh, it's just going to be easier than if we wait to try 
try to get it done. And then we can slide this on there. Don't necessarily need it. This is just kind of a weather boot. If you were going to mount it outside, you know, you would obviously want to make sure that that's good and protected, but uh, I'm not necessarily worried about it. I'm putting it on there just because because it's here, but um, it's just going to make it a lot easier because you have to slide it through, and it'll make it it's a lot easier to kind of tighten it without this thing in the way. So, and then these two go together like that, and then I want you to mount this thing. tight. Yeah, like that. And then you take this cable and you plug it into this is UHF VHF out and then UHF in. So you, whoops, you want it to go in the in this so that the UHF connects to the VHF. This is the VHF antenna. And then these evidently go out like that. And this gets clamped. And then there's a couple of wing nuts. So now that we got it together, um, that's what it looks like. Um, and then we just need to go ahead and um, make a connection here uh, to feed it to um, the TVs and um, go ahead and test it out and see if we start if we can scan it, scan the uh, television to try to find some, find some local stations. And if that works, then we'll go ahead and mount it, uh, you know, for good. One of the things you need to keep in mind is is knowing where, uh, in relation to how your house faces, uh, as to where the transmitters are. So I know that this is the front of my house, and my house, the front faces east, so I know that, or the front faces west, actually. Um, so I know that this is north and this is south. So... Uh, the transmitters are approximately um, south by south uh, east, so I need to face it in this direction to be able to point the antenna in that direction to get a, to get a decent signal. So that's kind of what I'm going to do right now uh, is just kind of mock up where I would want to have it, not necessarily mount it directly. I just want to make sure that I can get a signal. Okay, I got a cable from outside. And um, I think it's going to be long enough, but it's good for, at least for now, it's good for testing. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this one up and um, use it as a test. So we 
got that kind of set up. And then we'll run the other end to that splitter. Essentially what I'm gonna do is take this cable that's coming from the antenna and swap it with this one because this goes downstairs so this is going to be my in and these are my outs uh, I'm just testing it for right now what I'm going to have to do is get I'm going to have to get a different one different splitter that will actually have one more out so that I can have another out that will go downstairs but uh, for right now I'm just gonna I'm just connecting it to these two because this one goes to the master bedroom and I can test the television in the master bedroom to see if I can get a signal if I can get a signal here I know I'll get a signal downstairs I just want to make sure that the antenna is kind of working so that's the first thing that I want to do so make sure that all these are tight and then uh, let's go downstairs and see if we can get a signal. We're back downstairs and we're going to go ahead and test out the TV right now. See if I can get a signal. So let's just go ahead and go to settings. And then we go to TV inputs. <clears throat> scan for channels now obviously your setup might be a little bit different than mine but I'm using a, a TCL uh, Roku TV um, so this is the setup that's in that this particular system so it says to scan for for channels from the antenna uh, start finding channels uh, do I need to connect other equipment no so let's go ahead and it's going to start scanning for TV antenna. So I just have it set up on a couple of uh, plastic crates upstairs in the attic just to kind of get a sense of how it might, might work. So if I get some channels, <clears throat> then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, permanently mount the uh, antenna. But this is just kind of a test just to see how things are working out. Um, and if, you know, putting it in the attic is, is going to work. Um, oh, well now it's scanning for cable TV, but I don't have cable, so let's see if I can skip this step. So 36 channels were found. Okay, and then uh, let's just hit done. So, this is not HD, but we can take a look and see if I get the HD. Oh, so there's the NBC channel, and that's 1080i. And I've got four bars, so that's pretty good. Um, let's go to see what else we have. Okay, here's the local ABC affiliate. This is really what I was looking for, was to get the local stations, because uh, you can get other streaming services to get streaming TV. And I'm getting four bars with... with uh, the ABC station. So that's good. So here's PBS, and that's an HD. That's three bars. So I mean, it could be a little better. I may adjust a little bit and see if I can get it to go better than that. But um, for the purposes of testing, I think this is great. So let's go back upstairs, and we can go ahead and f fix it to the mast and uh, mount it to the rafters, and um, I think we'll be done. The next step that we have is to go ahead and uh, put this mast on the mount just to 
going to see how that's going to be. I don't know if you can see that but it's up there um, so I put it up high I was gonna have it hang down but uh, there's enough space up there and to keep it out of the way so that I can have area storage so it's not in my view or I won't hit my head with it when I'm up here so the only thing left to do um, now is to um, swap out the um, the splitter so I'm gonna go from uh, a two well, one to a two from to a this is a one to a four splitter so that I can add multiple um, feeds out to the televisions upstairs because there's one extra one that's not connected right now thing you need to remember with this is that uh, it has some markings this is the in and these other are the out so I'm just trying to uh, put it in the appropriate one I'm going to connect this one back up again because it's not connected any longer I'm outside near the uh, the cable box um, that the provider had installed on the house just to kind of show you um, what you might encounter as you're um, doing your install um, so if you look here the cable provider you know mounts their box um, and here's the cable feed that comes into the box and then from there it goes uh, makes a connection and, and then it goes inside your home so since this is dead and we're not actually utilizing their services any longer we can disconnect this cable from the splitter that basically they they install a splitter so that this one wire can go out to many different outlets throughout the home and feed your various televisions that you have so we're basically just going to go to that splitter and then we're going to disconnect that this cable from that and replace it with the the cable that is coming directly from the antenna itself um, so that the antenna will feed all those various um, televisions so that's what we're going to go ahead and do So I'm here in the crawl space, just at the entrance of, of my crawl space, and this is the splitter that um, feeds all the, the televisions throughout the house. Right now, the way it's set up is this is the in, and then these four are the outs to various locations throughout the house. 
So I know that this is the end, so that means this wire is the one that's feeding um, out to, to the outside box that I just showed you. So since we're not going to be using the cable provider's um, cable any longer, this is a dead line, so we, we want to disconnect that one from... from use and what we want to do is utilize the rest of these so these two wires go up to the attic and this one is the one that goes up uh, to the attic where uh, the antenna is that I connected up upstairs so rather than this being an out it's now an in because it's basically feeding from the antenna so I want to disconnect this one and make it the in of this because it's coming from directly from the antenna so I'm not really having to do a whole lot of work other than just change the directions of how these splitters are being utilized and since we're just not utilizing this one anymore I can just kind of set it here off to the side and not worry about it and then just make sure you get a 7 16 wrench and tighten this up make sure they're all tight while I'm at it just to make sure they got a good connection I'm sure they were before but we just need to make sure yeah, so these are all good. Okay, so now we're coming from the antenna, and then we're going out to the other television. So this is a television in my sunroom, and this is a TV to my family room. And then this one goes back upstairs to uh, my office, because there's an outlet there. And then this one is coming directly from the, the, the antenna itself. So other than that... Um, we shouldn't have to do any more. Uh, we should just be able to, um, you know, look at the televisions downstairs. She should be working just fine. Um, but that's all you really have to do. Okay, so we finally got it set up um, and it's fixed in place. So let's go ahead and turn the television on now and see what kind of um, signal we're getting. Let's just change the channel and see. So we can see it's got three bars there, and the NBC has got four bars, but here's the PBS options, and I'm getting four bars there, uh, four bars on the second version of it. <coughs> four bars on that one. Let's see the Fox. And I'm getting four bars there as well. So we're doing pretty good. Um, fairly pleased with, uh, with the outcome at this point. So hopefully this installation was helpful in, in uh, um, giving you some idea of what it, what it takes to tackle this kind of project. Um, if you're thinking about uh, cutting the cord and wanting to use a, a, an antenna and don't really want to put it outside or your neighborhood um, association may frown upon having external antennas uh, in your neighborhood and you want to put it in the attic but you're concerned about whether or not you're actually going to get a signal, um, I'm able to get a signal. I'm about you know, like I said, I'm about 14 miles away from, from the transmitters that I have, so I'm pretty close uh, to the transmitters. I, I don't know how it would be if, if you were much further, um, but uh, certainly with with the situation that I'm in, uh, I was able to get um, fairly good signal. Uh, if you like this video, please like or subscribe below. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.